Hi folks, this is going to be a quick video that shows how to delete the temporary files that Podium saves on your hard drive when you render. So, you may not have known this, but every time you press the render button, what's happening during the processing scenes phase is Podium's exporting the scene geometry and textures to a folder on your hard drive, and then it uses those files to process the render. Unfortunately, when the render finishes, those temporary files aren't automatically deleted. They're left behind in the temp folder. So this is just going to be a quick PSA to help you reclaim a little bit of hard drive space. Alright, so to find the temporary files, I'm just going to open File Explorer. We need to make sure hidden items are shown, so go to the View tab and make sure you check Hidden Items. I'm going to come down to this PC, C Drive, and it's under Program Data. Scroll down to SketchUp. Choose the version that you're using. I'm using SketchUp 2020. SketchUp again, Plugins, and there's the Podium temp folder. And if I right click and choose Properties, you can see this is over two gigabytes worth of data. And if I drill into this folder, you can see it's only a few days worth of temp files. I had actually cleared these temp files on, it looks like October 27th. So this is just a few days worth of temporary files and it's already equaling two gigabytes. So if you've been using Podium a lot for a long time, you could potentially have quite a bit of temporary data stored. If I look in this most recent folder here, you can see this is actually 113 megabytes just from that one render alone. And what that comprises of is 31 megabytes worth of geometry data and about 80 megabytes worth of textures. And these are the files that Podium needs to render um, but once Podium's done rendering, you can get rid of them. So go back to the Podium temp folder. And all you need to do to delete them is select all these folders here, right click, and delete. Alright, so just like that, we've cleared the Podium temp files and freed up about two gigabytes worth of space. Alright, now we're not done quite yet because even though this is where temporary files are stored in the most recent SU Podium versions, it's not the location where they were always stored. For one thing, this only deleted the temporary files associated with SketchUp 2020. So if you've been using Podium on the same computer through several SketchUp versions, you would want to go back and look through your other folders. 2019, for example. Let's see if I've got anything. And, and I do have some temporary files from an old SketchUp version. So you want to make sure you look through all the versions of SketchUp that you still have installed. Plugins, Podium Temp, nothing in there. I haven't used SketchUp 2018 in an awful long time, so it's possible I deleted the temp files at some point along the way. Now, there is one more place we actually need to look because even though we've taken care of 2018, 2019, and 20, this location that I gave you is only the Podium temp folder for the most recent versions of SE Podium version 2.6. I think every version before version 2.6.040 maybe used a different location. And I'm going to show you where that is right now. So this one more time is the current Podium temp location for SE Podium version 2.6. But in SE Podium version 2.5 and in early SE Podium version 2.6 releases, the temporary files were stored in a different directory. So this is where you want to look. We go back to Windows C Drive. Instead of program data, we're going to go under our user folder, Justin, App Data, click into Local, scroll all the way down to Temp. And you're going to find a lot of stuff in this folder because this is where most applications store temporary files. You just need to scroll down and find the folder called Podium V2. Or it might be SU Podium V2. Yep, SU underscore Podium V2. And as you can see, in this alternate location, we found a few more temporary folders that we can delete. And again, this would be the temporary file location for SU Podium version 2.5 and also SE Podium version 2.6 beta through about 2.6.039 was probably the last version that stored them here. All the new versions would use that location that I showed you before. All right, so those are the two temporary file locations on Windows machines that SE Podium uses. 
you can go ahead and delete any of those files. And chances are, if you've been using Podium for a while, this will help you free up quite a bit of storage space. So hopefully that was useful to you. And I'll see you guys in the next one.